Well, you may have seen our next guest competing and winning at the first robotics world championships in Detroit last month. The Thunder Chickens from Sterling Heights and Utica Schools are here in studio with their robot. Here to tell us more about their experience are team CEO Emma Fiddler and scouting director Jimmy LaRocca. Thanks guys for coming in. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, this, is, this is very <laughs> impressive. First of all, Emma, tell us about First Robotics. So First Robotics is this incredibly cool organization that puts on robotics competitions for children all the way through kindergarten to uh, 12th grade. They have different levels of competition and like their main goal is to get kids interested in engineering while also making them enjoy it as well. I love it. That's really great. You got to have fun with it, right? And so yeah. how, how many people are part of this team? And our team is 70 people, uh -huh. uh, but across all the nations, there's thousands of people that show up to every single event. So it's a lot of fun for us. All right. And this is your, your masterpiece. Oh, does it have a name? It is. This year our robot is named Alexa. <laughs> Alexa. Never heard that name before. I'm just teasing. Yeah, so tell us about how this all came to be, really. Uh, so uh, in the beginning of January, they release a new game every single year, uh -huh. so you have to make a new robot. Uh, this year they released the challenge called Destination Deep Space, mm -hmm. and in order to accomplish the tasks of moving those game pieces down there, we prototyped, programmed, designed, and built this entire robot in just about six weeks. That's great. And Jimmy, kind of tell us sort of, you know, really what it does here. Mm -hmm. So our robot is, it's on an elevator system that goes up and down. Mm -hmm. So we have an arm here that comes up and it'll come up and it'll be able to hold both the cargo pieces here, which are the balls and those hatch panels, which are the plastic discs there. And it has a mechanism out here that can come in and grab them physically with like basically essentially what you would consider like a hand with fingers. Mm -hmm. And it can come up with the arm to get to the level that you need. This wrist pivots and turns to get to the goal post that it needs. And for extra height, we have the elevator system that'll raise the entire thing up. Wow, that is really cool. How long did it take for you guys to, to put this together? Um, the actual putting it together usually mm -hmm. isn't what takes as long, it's designing it. Yeah, from start have, to finish. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's six weeks plus a little bit of extra time, you know, yeah. at competitions, fixing some mistakes and, you know, improving, yeah. of course. And then, you know, how did you really get to this point? I mean, in terms of learning how to do this? Did you have help along the way, mentors? It all comes from our mentors. They're uh -huh. all people that were from the industry. We have retired Ford mentors and we have other engineering mentors that come and they help us out and they mm -hmm. teach us what we need to learn when it comes to computer-aided design or just electrical wiring or mechanical using power tools and stuff like that. That's really great. And so both of you are seniors. So what do you think is, is next for you guys? Um, I actually loved learning about how this all works, so I am headed to Wayne State to study astrophysics. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. What about you? And for me, I mean, the electronics on the robot really inspired me to get my degree in electrical engineering, so I'm going to be going to Kettering University to get my degree there. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. And I love that, I mean, this isn't your first championship either. Tell us sort of about the history. You guys have had a, a really successful team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been a team with the Utica Community Schools for 21 years now, uh -huh. and 20 out of those 21 years, we have made it to the World Championship. Wow. Yeah, so we're a very consistent team, and this is actually our third time winning the World Championship. That is wonderful. What do you think it is about, you know, just making it to the championships and then also, and then winning a few times as well? Oh, it's just, it's an experience. It's so great to be able to go out there and build our robot basically from scratch, yeah. be able to compete out in the competitions and make it all the way to the World, uh, world Championship, and in this year, winning it, so. Yeah, very <laughs> impressive. Your advice to anyone who, who looks at this and says, hey, I, I kind of want to get into that, what would you say? I would say absolutely look into your local FIRST programs because mm -hmm. most schools have either first Lego League, first Tech yeah. Challenge, or the first robotics competition. And so at any age in like your education, you can get into these robotics programs. And it can look a little bit daunting, but I came in knowing nothing about mechanical engineering or electrical or programming, yeah. but now I can tell you how this robot works. Yeah. And it's an incredible experience. Oh, congratulations to you both. Look at you now and, and all your medals and trophies. Congrats, we'll be right back.